and being killed off. Now, the Jerusalem Post reported that there's a record number of Jews in Washington. Where is Washington's interest, and why are we supporting Israel? I mean, this goes on and on. I've got all kinds of stuff up at the website, harrythomas.info, under the weekly news section for January 10th, 2009. I mean, this just goes on and on and on about the overwhelming support of Israel, you know, by U.S. interests. And it's almost to make one wonder uh, how far in bed are we with Israel and why are we going against our founding fathers advice of not having foreign entanglements and even hosting the UN headquarters in New York City is a crying shame but that's a whole nother show what I got here is a, a clip that I found the representative press on YouTube it's an open letter to Israeli soldiers Jews are calling on Israeli soldiers to stop war crimes. I mean, and there's all kinds of groups out there, Jews against Zionism, because they understand that this is a control mechanism. And, you know, and I'm, I'm not even, I'm pretty much neutral on the uh, whole thing. And there's this whole idea, this whole movement out there to where you can't even question or criticize Israel or say anything about Zionism or Jews or you're an anti-Semite and a racist. And it just isn't so. And them, them kind of ideas need to be erased if we are going to have any kind of true representative media in this, in this country. I'm just going to point out that there's very corrupt systems involved here and that the leaders of Israel are pretty much uh, New World Order puppets, just like most of every other country. And, you know, I'm going to point that out. But I'm also going to point out that they are involved in war crimes. War crimes that would not be allowed, other countries would not be allowed to get uh, away with if they weren't so far supported by Britain and the United States and other uh, countries. I mean, that is just a fact. So here's an open letter to the Israeli soldiers. Jews call on Israeli soldiers to stop war crimes. We Jews in the international community call upon Israeli soldiers to raise the black flag of illegality over the operations against the people of Gaza. We refuse to remain silent while Israeli leaders force Israeli soldiers to commit war crimes, crimes against humanity for which they will one day be called to account. Israeli soldiers of conscience can and must stop this dangerous, illegal, and immoral war. This criminal activity does nothing to advance the health and welfare of Jews. Rather, from Siderot to Sydney, from Ashkelon to Amsterdam, we will all benefit when there is justice for Palestinians. Therefore, we call on you to use all measures possible to stop these atrocities against the Palestinian people. Flagrantly illegal orders must not simply be disobeyed, but actively and effectively opposed. We members of the international Jewish community call on you, the Israeli soldiers of conscience, to halt the Israeli war machine, which only you can and must do. This is Henry Lowy calling from Toronto. I just read the statement that I myself have signed along with many others. And you can find a link to that right at the website, harrythomas.info, under the weekly news section for January 10th, 2009. You know, and the media is totally corrupt. They do not report on any of this stuff. I mean, and this does need to be resisted. I got a clip up of, uh, you know, Colin Powell being praised by Israel after uh, his speech at UN. Uh, you know, and they want, uh, you know, these politicians want to go to war with Iran on behalf of Israel. Ron Paul has reported on this. And I don't understand why we should pay for this why we should support Israel's own doing I mean and there are rabbis out there that say that according to the Bible and stuff these ancient writings that Israel is supposed to be uh, they're not even supposed to have their own uh, state and that 
And they also pointed out that for thousands of years, they got along with, with all the neighboring regions and, and were welcome and productive members of their communities and societies peacefully until 1947 when they got their own state. I mean, you figure this out for yourself. The 1940s where the UN was born. You know what I'm talking about? World War II. The attack on Pearl Harbor that they allowed to go on so that we could get into the war. It's all public record now. And this all happened in the 40s, right after World War II, when they had everybody scared, and they created this world body, United Nations, in the state of Israel. This all happened in the 40s. Public record, and they're just getting away with this. And every bit of it planned and contrived by the New World Order globalists. I've got a clip, I've got, you know, the media is not reporting on this correctly. Listen to this. Now they are selling a war in Iran. Mainstream media is helping sell another illegal war. The way they do this is mainly by not reporting things or under-reporting things. So important facts don't reach the majority of the American people. Most people are relying on the mainstream media to learn what is going on in the world. Most people rely on TV news and TV news is not telling them what they need to know. Most people don't hunt around the internet for vital information. Most people aren't learning about Dr. El Baraday's recent statements. Dr. El Baraday is the Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency and he recently said, quote, we have not seen any undeclared facilities operating in Iran. Did you know Iran is permitted under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty to have facilities for a civilian nuclear power? It's their right. Here is something else most people are not learning from the mainstream media. The U.S. is in violation of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. You have to watch independent media like Democracy Now! to find out what the mainstream media isn't telling you. Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. The UN nuclear watchdog chief, Mohammed El Baradei, is warning no military action should be taken against Iran and that threats of war are premature and counterproductive. El Baradei also said there are rules on the use of force. The public needs to hear these statements. People should know that military action against Iran would be a violation of international law. Mainstream media isn't reporting that. People should know that threats of war against Iran are violations of international law. Mainstream media isn't reporting that. Abarade, head of the International Atomic Energy Agency, said there is no evidence of ongoing prohibited nuclear and nuclear-related activities in Iran. I have repeated that. We have not seen any undeclared facilities operating in Iran. We have not concrete, we have seen any concrete evidence that uh, the Iran program is being weaponized. Mainstream media isn't making this clear to the public. I mean, and the public does need to know. They need to be informed. I would refer people to the Alex Jones Show. I've got links on the website, harrythomas.info. You go to infowars.com, prisonplanet.tv, prisonplanet.com truthnews.us because if you're looking for updates on a daily basis Alex Jones is the one who's doing the, the material he's the one that's doing the shows four hours a day six days a week TV radio shortwave all over and I would refer you to stay informed over there at infos, infowars.com because they're coming after the internet they're going to shut us down. I mean, right now, I would say you should start planning how you're going to live, where you're going to get food, clean food, water for your family, get survival packs together, stock up on some things, have plan A, plan B, plan C, because we are being thrust right on into it. Everything that we've been telling you has come true. That's it. And now with Barack Obama in there, they're going to move right, right ahead with this. Full force ahead. I want to refer you to the BBC special, The War Party, Zionism in uh, Neocon Foreign Policy. You can check that out. And, and, and I just want to say, just like uh, I did a show on the, um, the Jesuits and the Christian uh, Catholic uh, controlled arm. I mean, these are just one control arm of the New World Order. Okay, and they're just announcing it. I see it all the time on Charlie Rose. Charlie Rose has these globalists on all the time, and they're just coming out and just announcing it. I mean, 
Kissinger was on there announcing it, and he was also on MSBC. Uh, listen to this.